Holy shit, it's the finale. Are we ready, y'all? All right, y'all get in your seats. All right, give it up for our special guest tonight. First up, Alyssa Edwards. All right. All right. All right. Hello, Roscoe's. Oh, we're going up the stairs? Okay, here we go. Here we go. And give it up for Trixie Mattel! Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to the Midwest. How you doing? I just have one thing to say. <laughs> What's up, guys? Tranik, I went out. Nope, T Rex. Sorry. <laughs> T Rex and I went out for one drink last night, so we were out till two. <laughs> we're like, should we go, like, chill, get a drink? It was like eight shots in. We're like, we should probably go <laughs> home. It's like, welcome back home, gal. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, Alyssa, are you watching this season? I have been watching it. Of course, I'm watching this season. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say, of course. <laughs> Because sometimes you're like, oh, my life is too busy. I got a jazz class to teach. I can't run home. But I have been thoroughly entertained. Yeah. Well, and we're very busy because we're cosmetics moguls. Hey! Right. And two of the only queens with spinoff shows. Oh. And spinoff shows. And they then, didn't cheer as hard for that. Yeah. Keep going, I like that. Keep going. That's this is what I want to do tonight. Oh, just talk about yourself during the very part of the two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Can we put the All show night. on mute? Yes. Right. <laughs> Ooh, two chairs here. Oh, they're not empty, are they? They're pre-sold. No, no, everything's sold out, so yeah, they'll be Yeah, don't again. fucking take the chair. Um uh, Alyssa, uh, uh, who is your favorite? Uh, or, or who who has been your favorite this season and Plastique. Plastique, yes. <laughs> And also... I mean, girl, come on now. Right. Uh, no, you know, this season has been um, interesting because I love entertainment. And when it started out, I, I mean, I know people in here are probably going to start all the charade, but I found Silky so funny to me. When she came out... Okay, the four people over here. Her mom, her dad, thank right. you. When she, <laughs> when she came out and that little, ashes. like, tube top body positive i mean she was just there for it and then it's like as we see it's you know when you watch meet the queens and then you watch them yeah, hours on hours <laughs> on end in the workroom you're like oh okay this is interesting this is a roller coaster uh but i liked her of course i am a huge fan of miss vanjie so <laughs> But I was 100% cheering for Plastique. I love that. She grew up watching Drag Race in high school, and, you know, she's living the fantasy now. And she did well. She did really good. I was very proud of her. Yeah. Um, uh, Trixie, uh, who do you think is going to take the whole thing tonight? Well, when you look at the track record and you look at the fan favorite, Tammy Brown. I mean, <laughs> it's the most obvious choice. I, by the way, everybody tonight, turn to your faggy friend and see who they want to win. Because whenever somebody wins, people change their stories. Yes. You want one person to win and then someone else wins, you're like, oh, well, that's what I wanted. No, you didn't. So when somebody's favorite doesn't win tonight, make sure you point in their face and laugh. <laughs> and keep it positive. From the Orpheum oh. Theater in All right, let's get it started, guys. Welcome to Roscoe. We, we have to talk about something. Oh. We have to talk about Drag Race. <laughs> Can you tell Drag Race is filmed in LA? <laughs> it's like sponsored by a flavored water. <laughs> and then we have to talk about that Maury Povich, like... Yeah. I call my mom a bitch and a slut. I stole ice cream from the ice cream man. I don't give a care. I'm gonna have a baby. Yes, it was incredible. That was so bizarre. Why did they film from that weird angle, black and white? It I... was wild, bitch. I love that. You loved it? I loved every minute of that. Um, <laughs> Of every, that was a full charade. I was here for it. Of everything to show She was like, head, she had that neck working, and she was like, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just, I, I loved all that. And then Shangela on the McDonald's, that's fucking winning right there. <laughs> Damn. They, they, filmed, they filmed her from the side in black. It looked like she was declaring that she was not a father. Right. Are they going to do them all like that? 
I that was I hope bizarre. So. Are they gonna show them all talking to the cops? I was like, it's what of all the challenges? Drag race is so fucking crazy. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, who's uh, whose outfits are you enjoying at the reunion? Well, I mean, plastic. I like oh, plastic. sugar canes. I love sugar canes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. plastic. And Vanjie looked like, honey, all that TV money done sank in. All oh, right. Yeah. She, she, went she got to, a million dollar smile. She, girl, she went to um, Asia's dentist for sure. <laughs> Y'all so messy. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. They're like, we're from the Midwest. These teeth are real. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Um, did you like uh, Honey Davenport's look with the honeycomb? Oh, I she love that. She looks so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Is she not the hottest guy ever, too? Oh, my God. Okay, nobody but me. Great. <laughs> She's cute. I think he's so hot. Um, what did you think of uh, Nina's paper doll look with the... Loved it. That the, was so... The it butt was, reveal. It was so her when she turned around and then she spun around with that big smile. I just love Nina West. Yeah. Love the energy. Love who she is as a person. Everything she stands for and represents. Yeah. Uh, Good peeps. Yeah, I didn't know it was a paper doll. You didn't get it? That's no. what those little things The tabs, were. girl. They had yeah. the white tabs up there. Yeah. yeah. What'd you think of Kahana with the big wings with, like, the brown on it and the white shoes? It seemed like she needed another fitting. Didn't it seem like it was falling? I think it was about to knock topple her over. Yeah. Like, yeah. that right there. She needed to be more bottom heavy. It would have never happened to Akira. She's weighted down with that booty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paperweight, right. Um, what about uh, Soju with uh, the all red? And Beautiful. Black Beautiful. Hair. Clean, consistent. Okay. I don't know if you're embarrassed of this. Do you remember that movie that you were in pageant? Do you remember pageant? Uh, oh, I remember I was second great, alternate to Pork Chop Parker. You were like, how old are you in it? 20? I was like, second so alternate young. to Pork Chop okay. Parker. <laughs> but there's a part where they're talking about people's, they're like, what do you think of her? And Alyssa's standing there and she goes, clean. And they say another name and you go, clean. And you, it was, that was amazing. Was clean, it, that's <laughs> it. She wore all red. Clean. Yeah. What yeah. about what about Scarlett uh, in the all red all loved clothes, it. Old Hollywood? It, she had Beautiful. personality. She'd been working out. She looked good. Yeah. She waved around. She smiled, <laughs> bitch. The drag queen. Let's go. Yeah, we're back. Uh, what did you think of uh, Brooklyn's look? Holy shit! It was so beautiful. I loved, it. I loved that. So, uh, sorry, I'm talking to y'all. Everybody, say hi, Detox and Miss Cracker. Hi. She tried to sneak in, bitch. You tried to sneak in. You tried to sneak in and sit in the back, whore. Come on, <laughs> Cracker. At least you come up here. Cracker, D. Come on, come on, come on. Let people see your bodies. Ooh, girl. She not only not have horses. Hello. All right. Uh, how are you enjoying the season so far, y'all? <laughs> I'm loving it, but not as much as you guys. How are you guys feeling tonight? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have so much alcohol in my body. I need to detox tonight. God damn it, get it all out of my feet, out of my ears, out of my sweat. How are you feeling, beautiful? I have no alcohol in me, so uh, feel free to enter. <laughs> uh, uh, Cracker, who do you want to win uh, this, this whole show? I, st I don't care what happens, I still want Vanjie to win because that's my... <laughs> that's my season 10 sister, god damn it. Bring her back, surprise, you know what I mean? Michelle. I think it's her year. So I no, think it's her year. So no one's giving a straight answer? <laughs> uh, well, actually, I'm like two episodes behind, but um, <laughs> I've been busy. I, <laughs> I really, really love Evie. Um, let's give her a flashcard with all the names on it. So she can <laughs> Detox is like, I love Cheryl and Beth. <laughs> Yeah, lit, right. right. Uh, how about you guys? Who is uh, Team Evie? Oddly. Uh, who is Team Akira Davenport? Who is Team Silky Ganache? Damn. Hateful. Hateful. Crown it. You guys really hate her. They don't hate her. How are you? 
And uh, and who is Team Brooklyn Heights? Yeah, it sounds to me like we're we're pretty close between a, a, a tie between Brooklyn and uh, Evie. Yeah. Evie, yeah. What? It's just so hard because remember in what was it season nine we all thought we knew who were gonna win and then this last episode who everything won changed. season nine. Remember Sasha won in the last minute and we didn't see it coming really. Oh, this is where it all yeah this is where it all takes place. I was so deliriously team Shay that I was like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But and like then, I, but like it's not. I feel like on these normal seasons, if you make it to the end and you do the best, you can just win. Yeah. That day, don't you think? Yeah. That's what happened to Sasha. Eventually, if you work hard enough and if you are easy to work with, you're going to win $100,000 regardless. Easy. There you if go. you work properly. Yep. So, I mean, honestly, just by being there, everyone's, I mean, that's so fucking passionate to say. That's but what I think. You know, <laughs> can't we give Pheromone something? <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Right. Blair St. Clair just gave me a heart attack. <laughs> that and was... Angina with that bang piece. <laughs> That was truly Blair St. Clair a, look gorgeous. Oh yeah. my God. I know. She looked so good. That was such a strange grab bag of queens. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> and Mama, we forgot a, to a talk about. grab bag. No, right, girl. Grab we, bag. Were, we forgot to talk about RuPaul looks fabulous. Yeah. She looks like 90s RuPaul. The supermodel days. The supermodel. It's her best A blonde hair. updo. It's a good look. Yeah. Um, that was the best part of the episode so far. I was like on the edge of my seat. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, what I still you... think Silky is so funny. I mean, I mean it's too. over the top. It's over. It's oh. a lot. You got to have a whole bottle to enjoy all that. But for me, I, I am thoroughly. It's, you know what? When I was teaching the dance episode and he walked around the corner with that waddle and no neck, I fell out. <laughs> I said, "What the fuck is this?" And they're like, that's Dr. Doctor. I thought they were even funny. They said, no, Reverend, Reverend. <laughs> I said, and then she kicked off her house shoes. I said, bitch, is your drag horrible? Because you are funny. <laughs> and she said, no, I'm sick. And then she kind of has this cute list. Like, no, Miss Alyssa, I'm sickening. Who? I said, I'm crowning her the winner. Yeah, she was like, it doesn't matter if people think you're obnoxious. And me and Alyssa are like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else is like, no, bitch, we ain't buying it. We are not buying it. It is funny to me. It's yes. funny. I don't know. I think it's funny. It seems like people were it's so TV. into her. And it's then entertainment. Around like episode five, people changed their minds. Yeah. I don't know. The first episode was a little like, okay, put Miley down. <laughs> like, okay, Miss Thing. It was not up. a safe lift either. It there was, was there's hazardous. No spotter, yeah. Okay, yeah. Alyssa, when you were there, who stood out to you? Who were you like, oh shit? I mean, besides obviously saying plastique. Um, Evie Oddly. Yeah. Just interesting, like, interesting amongst. The, you know, when you look in a crowd and you're like, Okay, I like that guy because he has a love sequence shirt on right here. It was like that. <laughs> Did, and she didn't participate. So uh, I was like, and then I, I, you could tell he really wanted to. It was very, yeah. Did you get to see them in drag or you just saw them out of drag? I mean, I stayed for the runway, but stayed back oh, off okay. camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, executive producer, Alyssa Edwards. Um, all right, we have some uh, questions sent in from the internet. Uh, first question, Tracy uh, asked uh, Alyssa, is there going to be a second season of Dancing Queen? Did you guys watch Dancing Queen on Netflix? Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, um, I'm not trying to get sued today, A, eh? but we did film some content, so stay tuned. Oh, I like that. Uh, Petra Cox from Pennsylvania uh, asked both of you, uh, what was your favorite part of creating your makeup lines? Give it up for both of them. They both... Just really, Trixie, what all have you released? You released nine We uh, released, glitters. yeah, we released nine glitters and one lipstick on Friday, and they all sold out by Saturday. Ooh. I was gagged, bitch. Gagged! Yeah, and Alyssa, you have a palette with Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly Hills, yes, and um, 14 colors, two years it took to create that. Damn. We both it's have fabulous. it on. We both have it on. Welcome back to the And we're back. Now. You guys had to have loved that one. That was uh, that bitch. was good. That was so cute. That I was, was just, so good. I just was, had that thought watching her saying like, 
oh, she's going to win, right? Yeah. Did you I guys did think too. that watching that? It was like. That was just good. That equal was parts everything. honest and like funny. And Substance. And yeah. she nailed every part. And yeah. we've never really had anyone like her in the competition or even like the time. I mean, we've had like Sharon and Jinx who are like the weirdos, you know. But this is a, I mean, she's fucking crawling around a garbage can yeah. and a, dressed like Blue Man Group. I was like. Well, Katya does that. Well, I was fixing to say, we've had some girls crawl around garbage cans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interview, clean. Clean. <laughs> Overall presentation, clean. <laughs> Uh, the way I, the family set up, the dad, the uh, biker watching the gay shows. Clean. Clean. No, that was good. Okay. That was I good. love that I bring the beat. Was that the season five runway song? That right? was ours, wasn't it? I love that I, song. D, get the back of this leg. Give me some tanner lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I have flashbacks of that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> we were lovely runners up. <laughs> Was uh, was Evie the only one that people were like cheering for, like cheering her name? Yeah. Right. I, I think Evie. That what separates her is she really just puts herself out there. She doesn't care. Yeah. And she's not afraid to look silly, fall down, get back up. And I think that's what her drag is about. She's very transparent. Yeah. Um, and she opens up really easily. Yeah. Yeah. Were there any girls this season that, besides Plastic? I have to say that you had like worked with before that you knew that you, when you saw they were up there, you're like, holy shit! They're well, gonna be Nina. Great. I mean, everybody Nina. knows everybody. Nina. Yeah. yeah. Did you do pageants with Nina? Do you know I, her? Well, I mean, we were in the, yeah the same circle circuit, all that. Yeah. Um, I w I was in Columbus and I was doing moving parts tour last year, and it was the night after her show, and I went to go see her Disney show. And it was so ridiculously high production. I was like, I don't know if it feels right to go on tomorrow. Right. Like, her show was so good. Yeah. Anybody, uh, anybody else? Anyway, she's before? dead now, so. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Raj is from Dallas. So yeah. she's won, like, the. we've all won the newcomer pageant. Um, Kennedy, myself, Plastique, Raja, You Asia. were 1980. <laughs> You think you're clever, don't you, whore? <laughs> you better fucking think again, bitch. Oh my god, what it was in the nineties though. It was in the nineties. <laughs> what fucking commercial? It's a boy is butter this? commercial. We watch it every week. Uh, it, it's we don't know how it got on VH1. <laughs> we don't know. This is this is Oh. It's almost as high quality as those Murray and Peter commercials. <laughs> This is the second most erotic thing that's happened to me today. What was the first? Well, find out later. <laughs> that was um, a lot. Anyway, I want to talk to you guys about Squarespace. Okay, if this, <laughs> if this was the interview, Trixie, who do you think is leading so far? If we right. ju Just off the interviews. Oh, Yeevee swept the interview. Yeah. Don't she, you she, think? She, okay, I think. It was so honest. and it was. I like when someone's weird, but they're not like, like me because I'm weird. They're like... Okay, you all are the you know guest I mean? judge, right? Y'all are the fourth judge, all right? How many of you, show of hands, think it's um, Evie? Raise your hands. Okay. Silky. Damn. Okay. One. Miss Okay, and Brooklyn Heights. Damn! Wow. See the gays. Well, are, she's going to the, the gays final are night changing winning. their minds. Do you? Oh, Akira, Akira. It'll be some fag in a Brooklyn Heights shirt. Like, uh, no, I wanted um. Team Vanjie. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think that this part really matters? No. I okay. think that's the most frustrating point about the lip sync for the crown because they go through all this bullshit and then have to do that and they show up dressed like baked potatoes so they can take off 13 <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, and listen, and look, me and Katya were talking about reveals, you should not see them coming. No. I shouldn't look at you and say, that's going to be a reveal. Do you you're know like, what I mean? You're in a sleeping bag? <laughs> right. <laughs> Right? Don't you think? The reveal yeah. should be a surprise. You don't know what's going to happen. Right. They looked a little more slick this year. Last year, not so much, but this year they looked more slick. Like, I was looking at them and they weren't, like, so bulky and... Yeah. Like, they Did were selling watches on the, the subway. Filming? Did anybody go to the filming? Anybody here go to the filming? Was there any, like, butterfly stunts or anything like that? <laughs> I wonder if that changed how they, like, vet what the girls do, because I feel like no one in production could have known about that. The oh, butterfly yeah. incident. You know they had PETA on standby. They said, don't fuck with us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. 
Wow. What the fuck kind of shoe reveal? That was Lower the Lights, baby. Thank you. That um, what was. about what about silkies that went back and forth between being a boy and a girl gender reveal? <laughs> what? It was like blue, pink, blue, pink. Also, and then it was like middle part wig reveal? Also, what? Yes, yes, yes. Wig revealing to less impressive wigs. Right. Just like, <laughs> and then a backflip on my lower a, a back. Backflip. Like, boom. Like, like, she uh. body slammed herself. Right. <laughs> she has back pains. Right. Brooke, Brooke she has to have back. That look, like, that hurt me just watching. <laughs> I know. Brooklyn was like, "That's cool. Here's my shoe reveal, and now I'm being." I hit, love. Like, Brooklyn was like, "I don't give a fuck what song it is. I'm gonna give y'all sex kid roundup bondage and point all in one." Yeah. Fucking bootylicious. She was up. That was everything. It was controlled and articulated. Yeah. That was just like, girl, sit your fucking ass down, Miss Silky bitch. That's what that was. That's what she said. Throw Bitch, your, shut your ass, ass up and sit the hook. Girl, she said, throw your ass all around, honey. She looked at her over the shoulder. I said, there's y'all's winner. Right. There's something so controlled about Brooke where she holds your attention the whole time. And she's, even when she's just doing the least, but then you know I was she's nervous like, for her, boom. though. When I heard it was bootylicious, I right. thought, well, this woman right, right here, bootylicious. <laughs> Girl, and then it was like on the back, and I don't know. <laughs> the rolling around, that was so good. <laughs> That she was fucking. I was like, what the you know, what Akira wanted doing? it. They were like, the song is bootylicious. Akira was like, <laughs> didn't nobody show the ass? Was nobody bootylicious? <laughs> that was fierce. I mean, I think Brooklyn slayed her, right? Yeah. Right. I think Brooklyn slayed it. I don't think Brooklyn was even worried that she was on right. stage. I don't think Brooklyn worried it was bootylicious. I think Brooklyn's like, bitch, when she picked her, you saw Brooklyn. <laughs> The that bitch look. rolled up and picked her Brooklyn said. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked Come the on, professional doll face. I wouldn't have picked the professional dancer. I thought that was such a yeah. strange choice. I give her credit because she said if I'm gonna win, I'm gonna be that bitch. Yeah. yeah. Well, baby, not tonight, not this year. Hopefully you get the call back for all stars. Cause I mean The lip sync? Clean. <laughs> not really. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Not, it was a little. It was a little shaky, like a sh her shaking go wigs. It was all a little shaky. Well, but was I entertained? Absolutely. Yeah. Her rolling around on the ground. What? 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 I want I want to. I wish she was here, Doctor Reverend. What was going through your mind, bitch, when you started rolling out around like you was in Sunday school and shit? I was she, like, was she on fire? The Holy Ghost that came in her. <laughs> Like a weeble. All right, cheers. 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 All right. What okay, we... the second one wasn't as cool as the first one, right? But if that one was first, we would have liked it more. Yeah. Not no. really. Not really. <laughs> These fags are like, no. Nah. Bitch, there's a $100,000 check right around the corner. Yeah. What's this new move on the ground where you're like windmilling, rolling around? Yeah. I'm... The, That's the an we interesting one. It's the weebles wobbles, but they don't fall down. Yeah. It's you just like, ooh, like. Okay. Ooh. I don't know if I got that in technique class, but yeah. all right. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm it just like, it, girl. It seemed like Akira was lip syncing like she knew no matter what she wasn't going to be in the top. Right? Didn't it seem like she's like, No, I'm to not me her. it looked like I'm at the bar on Friday night. That was a middle number look. S-O-S, please. Someone help. Oppolans, yes. Bitch, where's the... F Girl, It where? was a middle number I look. I the SOS, the... Go what is those things? Though? You know the SOS things? The flare? A flare. <laughs> and not the flare on the ground. Maybe that's what they thought. That's it. It was the flares yeah. on the no, ground. There we go. Okay, okay, I got it. That's a bummer, because I really like Takiri. I feel like she's like... No, a it's not personal. I love her. She's no, you hate her. You said it. No, but... <laughs> I know Akira. No, I know her, bitch. I know her on a Tuesday night. She was going to turn up more than that. Really? Well, I don't know about more than that, but... It was good. It was... You know what? It was middle of the road. How about that? Middle of the road. I, she's, her face is so beautiful, though, when she's and looking right at the And I don't even right know if camera. that song was finale worthy. Was that really finale worthy? Well, we had Wrecking Ball. That's like... That's drama. It's drama, yeah. 
I love that. This Rihanna is very Patch or Hip. S O S. My yes. first. It's like your first year in drag, and you're like, I need something easy. Or and let's then, say you're 10 years and in, and then it's and like the random it splits. It's like, okay, well, I gotta do this because I'm a drag queen. <laughs> Pull up the parking brake, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure if either of them were that great, though. Yvie didn't do much with it, either. You know what I want RuPaul to do one time? If I was Ru, like that lip sync when Charlie Hydes was on there, I would say, stop the music. Here is your one-way ticket, bitch, on the bus, not the mega bus. Get the fuck up out of here, girl. Get out. That was almost that moment. Right. Almost. Not there, though. Maybe it was better live, but it didn't look that cool. Not really. I was expecting Evie to have a reveal under all the, like, the Muppet show. I did like Evie's faces, though. She was really lip syncing. Yeah. yeah, a curious face was sort of on autopilot. Don't you think? And that's, I think she has so much more in her. In her. If, if oh, you she's... had to choose between the two of them in that lip sync, would you have sent Akira home as well? Or would you have picked I think Akira. Evie did do a better job. Okay. Are you mad? Jeez. Well, that's now Akira is your favorite. We get it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's what's so frustrating about the finale lip sync is that it should really be, uh, sorry to be a bitch, a culmination Let me ask of... y'all this. Oh, here we go. Uh, well. <laughs> luckily, luckily, they got somebody with big white teeth. Could you imagine? Some of these girls are not fit for a Crest White Strips commercial. Me included, bitch. They would have just been like, next, next slide. Right. Anyway... <laughs> it's gonna be a great year. <laughs> How fucking great did Aquaria look, dude? Oh my god. She looks fucking stunning. I mean, she's honestly never looked like less than stellar. Even in her like simple look, she's still like fucking up. She looked banging. She, she looked um like Betty a little bit. Like no? acid Betty? Yeah. Betty's a first draft, but she looked like Betty, you know. Nobody got that? Okay, they don't care. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, yeah, before we uh, uh, we close it down, I just want to give a big thank you to Roscoe's. Before we crown this winner, uh, thank you to Sean, thank you to Brendan, thank you to all of the management, all of our bartenders, our bar staff. This is one of, if not the big, yeah, this is the biggest viewing party in the whole fucking world. It is wild. We are very lucky. A big thank you to them. Uh, so, uh, and thank you so much to you guys for coming out week after week to celebrate. So, thank you so much. Uh, also, uh, I'm great. Thank you. Um, also, um, tomorrow the girls will be performing. Uh, uh, there is going to be a, a meet and greet before, but that's sold out. So, at 11:30 there is a uh, performance. So, be here for that. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. 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 We're just going to all kill ourselves after that. So, <laughs> yeah. Kool Aid? Noose. Kool Aid? Noose. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, DragCon was lit. If it, did anybody make it to DragCon? Oh my God. Okay, nobody. Okay, anyway. One you were person. there? I knew you were. I knew it. It was cool. I rode my bird. I rode my bird into the drag con and they immediately took it away from me. Really? Yes, they told me to get off my scooter. Oh. I see the drunk white girls made it out to the event. Yeah. You killed drag con, you bitch. Thank you Sla so much yes. for your positive words of encouragement. Yes. Slay me, mom. Right. <laughs> Expose her. Yes. <laughs> um, who do we think is going to snatch the crown now? Who do we think it's going to be? It's between Evie and Brooklyn. We heard the cheers. We heard the applause. What do if we think? If it's Brooklyn, are you guys going to be mad? No. Because that's yeah. the thing. Like no, Trinity yeah. and Monet, people are like 50-50. And then when they both win, people are still mad. So you never Well, that know. was a cop-out. Well, but it wasn't their fault. That was. By uh, the way, let me just say this. Bruce's fault. When Kennedy and I filmed a tie, we filmed a tie, and they were like, if you win, if you do a tie, you each get 50. They didn't film a tie for Monet and Trinity, and they each got 100. They just found $100,000. <laughs> right. Because they just Franken edited theirs right. together. You're both a winner, baby. You are both a winner, yes. Right. Downloading winner program. <laughs> right. I think it'll be Evie. I think it's going to be Evie. I think the, the, these are the top two I predicted, though. 
Really? But I, I want to see the a, beginning. I do want to see Akira. There's several I want to see on All Stars. Oh, fuck but, yeah! But um, I, I I think these were the two. Who do we want to see on All Stars then? Nina. Nina, a- Nina Akira. Akira. Yes. Plastic. Plastic. Four more years. Four more years so later. So Scarlet. Vanjie. Yeah, uh huh. Not really. Not really. There was too many cast Not members really. this year. Too many cast members. They need to bring it back down from 15 to about 12 because I couldn't even remember people's names. I was tired. There's so many. We were through All Stars. I was like, oh, God, we got like, 15 I just in need next a, cycle, I just, bitch. I'm tired. I just need like two but weeks off. Like, well, guess what, Mimi? Yeah. But right. they're having one, it seems like, every year. So it's like. Yeah. If they were to reduce All Stars to be about eight queens and reduce the season to be about ten or twelve, it would take it would give us like two months less, and that would make me like the show more because it would give me a chance to miss it. By the way, but I love here that they're like, we're gonna beat you over the fucking head with this show. You better fucking like it. By the way, I love that we live in a world where we're like, stop showing us so much drag. Right. <laughs> We're so privileged. We're like, gay people on a national television network, like, can you tone it down? Those of you who come every week, you're like, I want my Thursdays back. (laughs) Yeah, more dueling pianos. Right. (laughs) And remember, if your favorite doesn't win, it is important to send very hateful messages tonight. Don't forget. Yes. Yes. It's the best part about someone winning. (laughs) Well, <laughs> anyway, Squarespace. It's excited. an easy to use platform. Squarespace? It's what? Squares? Okay. Squarespace. I've heard of it. <laughs> okay. All right. Who uh, will well, win? It, I know. We're watching it. We can see it coming. <laughs> I'm What's afraid the, to start a oh, new conversation. We don't even know the, the ending. And, and all right, let's crown it! Here we go! Well, well. Let's go! Yes! Chicago, are we happy with the results tonight? Yes! Congrats, Edie! Congrats! Yes! What do you guys think about it? She's not going to be able to get into Canada, but it's okay. <laughs> that was, I have never seen anything like that. Mirrors yeah. in the back of the head face. That yeah. was smart. Vault. That was smart. Professor that- Quirrell realness. Well played. That was, I had no idea it was coming. Well played, that was smart. That's how you win the page. The See? mirrors. She said, I don't have to split and do none of that. Watch this. Right. And I did not see it. That was the night the lights went out of Los Angeles, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> also, extra credit to uh, her, uh, the reveal gown that said reveal. I love that. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, that Here was comes good. The reveal. Yeah. That was a good, that was good. Oh, that was fierce. That was a very good ending to a season that was too damn long, but still yeah. a good season. Still a good season. But you know what? Brooklyn's eyes, I, I love that she had the eye of the tiger. You know yeah. when it opened, you could just tell they both were hungry for it. That's what a lip sync for your life should be yes. right there. That's that was, it. That, that, was, that, 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 that bodysuit and that red lip, she just revealed to Katya, just, I'm here. <laughs> That was awesome. She was so, so good. good. She was so good. That's the type of lip sync that you go I'm home not winning him. and being like, That's I was so fierce. good. That was cool. Yeah. No I, confetti. Okay. Wow, yeah. Roscoe's. <sighs> like we could. She's like, sh- we got a queen. Let's call it a night. Right. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, a big thank you to our special guest tonight. <laughs> all right. Come see us tomorrow. Come yeah. see us tomorrow. Um, so, uh, DJ, will you pull it up? Uh, we got some special events coming up. Oh, yeah. All right. For Pride Fest, we have Trinity the Tuck, Roxy Andrews, Naomi Smalls, Bibi Zahara Bonet. I'm your host. I'm gorgeous. And Vanessa Banji Mateo. Oh, and Plastic Tiara. All right. That is on June 23rd. Next up, we have, we got all kinds of shit coming up. Don't worry. Uh, oh, that was a fun... Ooh, a transition. There we go. For Market Days, Detox is hosting Ginger Minge, Aquarium, Manila Luzon, Cameron Michaels, and Latrice Royale. That is on Saturday, August 10th. And then finally, we have... On Sunday, 
Shea Coulee, Brooklyn Heights, Tatiana, Valentina, Nino, Wes. All right. A big thank you to Roscoe's. Uh, now we're going to go into Q&A. If you have a question, just raise your hand, okay? You don't need to keep it up the whole time. I'm going to go to different parts of the audience. Uh, we ask you to keep your uh, questions, um, you know, like not super personal, but feel free to ask away. So uh, if you have a question, raise your hands, and I'll come over to you. All right. Hello. Hi. What's your question? Hi. Here, step on up. Oh, we look like sisters. We Well, we do look like sisters. You look cute to me. You look cute too. Okay. She wins. Okay. All right. What's your question? So my question is, I watch your show, see you everywhere, you're everywhere. How, um, how much work is it being everywhere at the same time? Because you just see all those ads right there. They're going to be here, but then they're in LA, but then they're in New York. Does the traveling ever get to you guys and having to look so gorgeous all the time? Because we appreciate it. Uh, we really do. You're so sweet. I think people who complain about this aren't appreciative of it. <laughs> like, oh, I have to fly tomorrow. Bitch, you get to fly tomorrow. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just learned to, like, as much as I love performing, my heart really belongs to the studio. And, you know, I've learned to be a professional juggler, literally, you know, because you, when I'm not here and this is not on, I'm teaching a jazz class. So I think, Same. like, I agree. <laughs> It's like, I agree, we don't, we don't have to, we get to. You yeah. know, and that's the beauty. Look, Evie is, has an amazing platform, but every single contestant that walks in that doors is given to say, look, I am the living proof, honey. You ain't got to win to fucking win, all right? So, I hope, I, and I love to see all the new girls come off the season. They're on their hustle. Their skin looks really fresh and ripe. <laughs> and then you see them two years later and you're like, oh, well, so you see some, but <laughs> the ones you do see, um, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's very rewarding. You, you don't have to win to win, but you do have to rob Shangela. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't robbed, she was burglarized. Burglarized. <laughs> Yes, cheers. She's selling McMuffins. She's doing fine. Hello, yes! We just said, do it again. Do it again. She's doing fine. Do it again. She's selling, She's selling McMuffins. She's doing fine. If you have a question, move it over here. Move, come to me. Come to me. Epic. It's She's too busy. So you got to come to me. She orders off the dollar menu, not the $100,000 menu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> your question. I call shade. <laughs> All right. Hello. What's your question? Hello, um, I am from London. Are there any queens that you're hoping to see on Drag Race UK? Ooh, oh, I have a couple. I have, I have like, I have. I do, I have some uh, that I like. Well, didn't they, they already, I mean, it's an open secret that they already filmed season one of Drag yeah. Race yeah. UK. So if you guys like this show, but like fun accents, watch it. Well, the drag in London is, I mean, it's very artistic. And very creative, so I'm excited to see the show. Because over here in the States, we have pageantry. And there's nothing like that over there. So, no. you know, I can't wait to see. Also, the drag queens in Europe, they're kind of like New York queens, where they go to a bar, and they're handed a microphone, and they go, you have to fill a whole hour. Yeah. So they're very scrappy. <laughs> they're all very Miss Vanjie. We just seen it right there. That's yeah. good. Can Vanjie get her own fucking spinoff show? Like Yes. Just Vanjie on the street. I would watch it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. Get over here. If you have a question, I can't get to you guys really because it's so busy. So if you want to come on over. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hello. What's your question? Oh. So you get called mom everywhere you go. How do we feel about that? <laughs> um, it's fine. <laughs> to be, to be like called, a true listen, dad. <laughs> to, uh, listen. Yeah. They could be calling you dad. Yeah. That's worse. Hi, uncle. Like that's worse, you know. Hello, beautiful mom. Thank you. She dreamed of being a mom, but too. But it's a problem when I'm at an airport and someone literally yells, fuck my pussy with a rake, mom. <laughs> That's problematic. Problematic. It's problematic. At TSA, they're like, <laughs> Hello, what's your question? So my name's Madison. So my best friend, Jesse, is sitting right here. He's hot as hell. Stand up. Come on, Jesse, stand up. 
Oh, God. What's I'm waiting for the question mark at the end oh. of this. So what's the best advice you can give him to be the best drag queen in the world? Oh, yeah. What's your advice for this person that she has forced to stand up in the front <laughs> row? <laughs> Get cool to- friends. Um... <laughs> Oh, roasted. No, 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 no. No, um, the real thing is you have to do something nobody else does. That's it. You just gotta do something. For better or for worse, do something nobody else would want to do. Black tar heroin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, hello, what's your question? Uh, so this is my mom's intro to drag tonight. Oh, your mom is here? Hi, welcome. I love that. What's, hello, her, mom. what's her name? How does it feel like Cecilia. to be called mom? Cecilia. <laughs> Cecilia, uh, Cecilia. yeah, okay, what's your question? So I'm trying to make her a huge fan, so if you had any scene or anything from all of Drag Race that I should recommend to her to watch. Oh, watch the early Untucked. Like season four or five Untucked. Yeah. Back when it was good, bitch. <laughs> Nobody was being sad, leaving in a van. People were just screaming and drinking. It was incredible. Maybe I mean, she shouldn't watch those. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Alyssa's like, I'll curate a list of which episodes to watch. I loved that early Untucked. It was crazy. Yeah, it was We got bad. to season seven and we're like, I'm here. And they're like, there's your couch. We're like, Oh, Damn. I know, bitch. I was there on t- with the early earns. Yeah. It was awesome. You didn't, you didn't like it, Alyssa? Of it, course. It was great entertainment. It's good TV. <laughs> it was good so TV. Good. It was good TV before you're like, you know, I think now the queens go on Drag Race with a, a list of things they want to say, what they want to wear to sell, right. and their brand and their character. That was back in the day. We were officially just telling bitches to sit down and shut the fuck up. Yeah. And was, <laughs> you know, it was like, and then you forget the cameras are there, right, Dee? And then you're like, you know what, girl? I'm not fucking with you today. Yes, it's fierce. <laughs> and you know I what? love it. That cheap fucking shake and go wig you got on your head. This is three hundred, mama. That's forty dollars. And then you go back and watch, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm a teacher. So yeah, <laughs> my granny watches this. Let's don't do all that. Hello, what's your question? Um, if only if this is not if you've already seen it. Um, in comparison to what we saw tonight and the first lip sync we saw between Evie and Brooklyn, which one do you guys think was better? And my second question is, is the eyeshadow you're wearing from your palette? Uh, f- let me answer that first, absolutely. And Trixie's wearing the Alyssa Edwards palette. <laughs> hey! It's so, what is it, $35? Get it, it's awesome, it's awesome. 25? 45? Oh shit. I love I feel like Still about get the it, auction. it's really good. Damn. Which is really cheap, if you buy Mac, you know the single, Girl. they're like $13, aren't they? Girl, they're 17 now, it's crazy. Oh, they went up shit. Yes. That was the 90s price. But, <laughs> I think this was a better lip sync than the first one. Don't you guys think? This was yeah. like, oh my God. No? Oh, Jesus. Wait, uh, then better than the Bootylicious? No, than the first time they lip synced. She hasn't seen it. <laughs> you know what I liked about this? I liked that Evie was just, that costume was so creative. She was giving me drag with her face, and I love that. If you're captivating, that is the ultimate performance. When you can stand there, you ain't got to have no charade, no stunt, and just serve and slay. She did that. Yeah. She really, and Brooklyn was doing, you know, all the dance steps. So I don't know if it was better. Because you know the wow factor. Yeah. You got to have three faces to win. They both were good. They both were good. They, it was a tie. And world peace. All right. <laughs> Hello, what's your question? Including the finale, what was your favorite runway look from this season? Favorite runway of the season, including tonight, the oh, finale. Oh, God. Can I phone a friend? Yeah. I will say, I like how RuPaul's been like embracing her inner hoe. Yeah. She's been doing legs now. You're like, RuPaul has legs? This has been great. I think one that really stands out to me is I liked Evie's orange thing. Yeah. Yes. That was like kind of really campy and cute and fun. She was that cat with the orange peel on her head. Was yeah. it a cat? I don't think it was a cat. It was a clown. <laughs> right, I did too. All right, hello, what's your question? So, Trixie, I have a huge crush on you, but I heard that you carry a piece of Katya with you everywhere you go. Do you have a piece of Katya with you? Yeah, let me just get it for you. Uh, No. (laughs) 
No, 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 no. I don't have anything. It's just the 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 smell, just too much. <laughs> yeah. Although we did just film episode 100 of. Uh, Yay! Keeping the lights down down at the Wow Presents Plus. Yes. <laughs> He yelled out, what's the title without me going to him with my microphone? What's the name of the 100th episode? Oh, it's about milestones, of which we have so few, but yeah. <laughs> Hello, what's your question? Uh, Alyssa, did you and Tatiana both know that the lip sync between the two of you is going to be so fucking iconic? It's so The best good. lip sync in Drag Race Hearst. I don't think that... I think we both, if you, like I was saying about Brooklyn, if you watch that episode, when we come out, bitch, we were like, you know, two hoes at, you know, one o'clock in the morning getting that last five dollars walking <laughs> the streets. We both had that, like, eye on the prize. And, you know, sometimes you watch Drag Race for me, going back to your question with the runways, I sometimes forget that. But the one thing I never forget is the lip sync part. That's my favorite part of the show. It's like at the very end when you can see two people like, battling it out, who've auditioned, who fought to get there to stand out. Um, that's the part for me where I'm in my house, yes, God, and turning up and down and, you know, kicking and slapping my boyfriend and all that. So I think that episode is my favorite moment because I could see in my eyes, I was like, bitch, I'm not fucking going down without a fight tonight. And, yeah. <laughs> it was so good. I never. <laughs> yeah, we are. St- <laughs> yes. But, you know. I can um, never hear that song without thinking of that. It's so good. Right. It's so good. Like, literally, me, that song comes on, any of us fags at the club, like... And you know what? <laughs> like, trying to be after, you. After, try, it, was, just after it was over, you look at Rue, and you're like, I don't care if I go home or if I lose or win, I did that, bitch. Yes. That's it. And that's what it's about, you know? Hello, what's your question? Hi, Trixie, you said to somebody after you won your All-Stars money, if you were feeling really fierce, you'd buy a Nintendo Switch. So I'm wondering, did you buy a Switch? And I do you sure did. Up and what's your favorite game? Yes, and I, my vintage Barbie collection is fleshed out very much with my money. Thank you so much. Oh, and I bought a condo. That was cool, too. Yes, I'm not homeless. Thank you. All homeowners, right. yes. Homeowners. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Fuck, I, I, watch. I'm going to walk to this side of the audience. About 10 questions are going to pop Yell the question here. out. Come Keep on. it up for Tranica for walking. <laughs> oh, T-Rex. <laughs> for walking like kimchi all night. <laughs> 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 Dancing on your grave. Here, come over here. Come to me. Oh, my God. You guys are so awful. Oh, hi. Hey. So we get it, Alyssa and Detox are in the room and they really set the ground with All-Stars 2. But Trixie, how do you feel that Tammy Brown was robbed tonight? I know. every. <laughs> I'm ready for Tammy to be the judge, the guest judge, the choreographer. Right. She, I mean, Mom, Mom. Oh, she's gone. Mom left. Mom, if you go watch All-Stars 1 Untucked, Tammy went, oh, I'm acting. I mean, she's the best. You guys, She's I, hilarious. She, I went to Australia with Tammy, and she were at immigration, and they were like, what do you do for a living? And she said, I'm a drag queen. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then they said, oh, you work in gay clubs? Do you have drugs or pornography? And Tammy goes, we're transvestites. And then she leans on the counter and goes, top shelf transvestites. <laughs> <laughs> And the uh, immigration officer was like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> Hello, what's your question? Hi, fuck me with a rake, mom. You're welcome. Yes, no problem. <laughs> um, my friend Angela got her master's degree today. Could you congratulate her? Congratulations, Angela. Congratulations, <laughs> Angela. Hey, Angela, over there. That's cool. I, I can't get over there, so if you're in that deep corner, you either come over here or you come over here, okay? Sorry, guys. <laughs> you're in a Leave it to this audience to make the drag queen walk to them. You're in a mob. Them. Okay. I can't get over there. Hi, hi. You first, and then I'll get you guys. All right. Hello. What's your question? Hi, ladies. I'm sure you have insider information already, but what are the All-Stars 5 predictions? Ooh. I am so... All-Stars is my favorite because everyone's confident and rich. Who do you want to be on? Who do you want to see on? Not what you heard. Who do you want? Cracker! 
Shea Coulee. Shea Coulee. Would you do it again ever? Would you ever? I have a few times. I'm on the payroll. I teach the dances and I roll the fuck out. <laughs> um, God, there's so many good ones. Would you do it again? Uh, no. No, it not, does not bring out the best in me. I want more winners to do it. I want Jinx to do it again. I want Jinx to do it. Yes. Some people like, people like Jinx and Bob, they like love doing it. They love doing it. I would look, just do it again. Who cares? It is, look. Win twice. It is fun. It is fun. It's like, it's long, it's strenuous. Did you have fun doing it? I had fun doing it. Yeah, and when... I had more fun on All Stars too. Yeah, totally. because the first time you're there, it's so stressful and you really don't know what's going to happen. It's the Hunger Games. It's, it is. So then the next time you go in there, it's like, okay, I know that they're going to throw shit at us, but right. I've been here before, I've done it, I'm established, I, you know, you have And more I fun. think it shows people go on All Stars and they have more fun, they let their hair down, they kick back, they're like, bitch, I already lost once, what's, you know, I mean, yeah, what's people, one more? So People see it as a victory lap, they're much more themselves. They're like, whatever, and what, we all leave in three weeks anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, because it goes fast, so. All right. Hello, what's your question? Hi. Um, I have a question for Alyssa Edwards. Um, have you ever or would like to go against the Abby Lee Dance Company? Oh, wow. How do you know we're not in season two? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Um, I, I, lo I, I love Abby. We work together. Um, uh, no, but yeah, come on, bitch. Let's do it. It's a competition. Come on. We can do it in the backyard, the front yard, the would garage. You, do, you, do you think you would win? What'd she say? Do you think you would win? She do you said. think you would win in like a stomp the yard? You bitch, guys my are... check is cleared. I'm fucking winning. It's all good, baby. <laughs> I promise you that. You no, just got I, served. I think yeah. it's two different things. It's like, you know, my kids are very artistic, um, and I think her kids are very, you know, together. Precision. Clean. 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 So clean. So Star clean. quality? Ooh. Clean. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No. Yes, I would love to compete against Abby Lee, yes. Who? I was just with her recently at JoJo's birthday party, and she leans over. You know over. JoJo. Jojo Siwa or whatever? Her. Yeah. With the hair bows. And she was like, Alyssa. Like, she's very famous. And I said, bitch, bring the fucking ALDC because the BBDC's ready, whore. I think that means she would. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hello, what's your question? Hi, um, Alyssa, your skin is popping. Everything's popping. But I just need to know, how can I get in the House of Edwards? That's all I'm trying to figure There's out. There's a $25 application fee. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want no fucking check, bitch, because it'll bounce. And you have to go through a strenuous audition. And, you know, at this point, I've tied my tubes. I ain't fucking with no other hoes. I'm keeping my eyes on my coin and my house and my husband and my children. And, um... That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's Sorry. it. That's it. She's... What is going on tonight? What is this? Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. It's this the is finale, hilarious. Girl. We got crackhead energy. Hold on. I feel like Detox has a question. Hold up. Hold up. Is it? Oh, you. Hi, what's your oh, question, ma'am? Oh, here we go. You guys, hello. Give it up for Dixie Lynn Cartwright. <laughs> My gay friend is just starting drag. <laughs> and no, I want to know something from you girls because you're the, the biggest girls in the drag world, pretty much. There's like five big girls, and you girls are two of them. So you're saying like, we're big girls, okay. Yeah, now. Not so much on your own season, but now that you eat well. <laughs> um, do you ever still get stage fright, or is that over now? Do you get scared before you go on stage? You ever get scared before you go out on stage? Or is it, you just walk out, you're like, they're lucky I'm here. What, what is I it? I think you know the answer. 
<laughs> She's her own no, biggest fan. No, I mean, fan. you know, when you're, it's like any performer does. It's like, you know, uh, and I've watched the Katy Perry uh, movie so, too many times, but Bart, yeah. I think that when you're born to be on stage, you share your art, you share your gift. Now I'm telling you what I tell the kids at the studio, but uh, there are times when I'm like, are they gonna think this shit is fucking boring? Is the crowd too drunk, bitch? Is the stage gonna break? Am I gonna slip and fall on someone's cocktail? I think so, I'm frightened of that part. And then I'm also frightened like, is this promoter shady? Where's my coin? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things that go into it. But of course you get like a little, like a little rattled, but I love doing this. I mean, and I'm thankful you all showed up, but if none of y'all would've fucking came, I would've sit in my hotel and just entertained myself. Cause I am my biggest fan. So, I love it. There you go. I don't get, I get a little nervous only because most of the shows stand up and you could bomb. But Margaret Cho, I was just with her the other day and she was helping me. And she said that she was just in Scotland and they booed her for the entire hour. Oh. So she was like, girl, it doesn't matter how long you do this. You can't make them like everything. So, whatever. Damn. All right. Hello. What's your question? Trixie, I'm a fellow Wisconsinite and a Milwaukeean. When are you coming back to Milwaukee? I'll be there for Pride with T-Rex, bitch. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We'll be there, bro. All right. Detox has a question. She was waiting. No, I don't know. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> when is this over? She said, when is this over? <laughs> I noticed right. nobody sent Detox any drinks. Who They're has a good question? She, a good one. question. Oh, good. A coming. good question. Alyssa, if you could be any kind of tree, what the fuck kind of tree would you be? If I could be who? No, just no. kidding. Okay, let's ask each other a question. All right, go, Trixie. I, I think that guy has a question. Who? Hello, that what's guy. your question? I'm from the Midwest and from Texas. So, Trixie, what's your Culver's order? And Alyssa, what's your Whataburger order? Okay, bitch, you go to Culver's, and you get, and you get the cheese curds, and you get the broccoli cheese soup, and you dip the curds in the soup. <laughs> well, once upon a time with all them back rolls, I loved Whataburger about 2 a.m. <laughs> and you know what I love? The sausage chiquito with the breakfast gravy and the cinnamon roll, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, something interesting. <laughs> Hello, what's your question? Hi, um, my friend just started drag, and Alyssa, he really likes your wig, and he wants to know where you got it from. I got this wig from Integration. He does wigs for you, too. Yes, he's amazing. Go on Instagram, Integration. Amazing. You just started drag. You might not want to start there unless that checkbook is right. Right. Or you got a good credit score. You got a good credit score? Call Integration. You can pack this wig in a bag, travel around the world in ay ay and it still works. All right. Hello. What's your question? Here, come. I, if y'all are asking questions, I mean, you got to This is get so funny. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Hi, baby. How are you? Good. How are you? Lovely. Uh, what's the best backstage drama story that you have? Oh, stop. <laughs> well... Stop! Well, Miss there was this one time. Do it! Do it! No, no, no. Go ahead, bitch! No, 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 no. Something came in. No. There was, you I'll know what? We're all performers and we're all... Yeah. No. I, I know wanna... what she's going to say, so I'll help her out. The night that I walked out in my robe and my Joan Crawford head wrap, we were and on I tour lunged like... over a table and I said, get me the fuck out of here. And security grabbed me and I said, I will escort myself out. It, yeah, it was two queens in a fight, let's say, and they were ready to hit, and Milk <laughs> stood between them and pushed them both away from each other, and it was incredible. And also earlier, T-Rex slapped me, so, I mean, that wasn't pleasant no, either. I, didn't. <laughs> I shit in your suitcase. Huh? Yeah. Hi, what's your question? <laughs> Hi, uh, I was I hate wondering... You, Cracker. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering what the weirdest thing you've ever received from a fan is. Because I know you all got some weird fans. Well, she received the STD once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And it was Katya. It was from Katya, bitch. Oh, God. It's never gotten that desperate. Thank you. Okay, what's, what's the weirdest? Come on. Um, I would say I'm a pretty regularly tattooed drag queen. Like, people get my face all the time. Because if you get, like, Courtney Axe, it's just a woman. 
But if you get my face, it's and it's always that's the weirdest. And I always want to no. Want, no, one day I want someone to go. Meh. I have your tattoo, and I want to go. That's so funny because I have you, and just gag someone. I ain't buying it. Also, that's I get a lot that, of that's DVD, that Margaret Cho boo moment. I get a lot of DVD copies of Contact. Oh God. Well, I'll tell you the weirdest one for me, and it was weird. So I'm having. Hold on over there, y'all better back that. Okay, so I was having a New Year's party at my house, not a party, a get together. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, It was like, not a party; it was a get together. Right. It was a get together, not a bit. A lot of people, just a, you know, a few. And I'm like, Oh, who do you know here? He goes, Nobody, nobody. I'm a fan. A fan of who? Alyssa Edwards. I said, You don't live here. He said, That's you. You got through the gates and the front door. No. Holy shit. And wait, mind you, done made a plate. Baby had a whole fucking bottle over there. And I'm like, this motherfucker's up in my house. Oh. And then he proceeds to tell me, yeah, I, I'm just your huge fan. I've gone to your studio and sat outside and waited for you to come out. I'm calling the law on you, motherfucker. I'm calling the law up in my house. And you were like, your name will be Shangela and you will be in the house of Edwards. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> Up in my house, and he's probably watching this video. All okay. right, let's bring him out. Just kidding. Hi. Oh. That would be amazing. Hi, what's your question? Would you rather see a season of Drag Race of winners or first outs? First Ooh. outs. Yeah. First outs. We've seen enough of the fucking winners. <laughs> what I do mean, you think, Alyssa? I think the perception is if you go home early, you're not fierce. And I no, think I, Serena Chacha had a glow up. She's had a glow up. I want to see Serena Chacha yeah. on there. Yeah. So I would like to see all the people go home first. That'd be cool. All the season of people went home first. No. Tell me who all the people went home first. It were. would be like Layla, and it would be okay. like Serena, um, Serena, Serena, Tempest Du Jour. It would be Pork James Chop. Mansfield. But yeah, Pork Chop. If it was like a mini series, if it was like two episodes, one, two, in and out and go. I don't want to be a like. Mini? What is this, you know, drag, ra drag Race is like the Super Bowl of drag. You tune in every week to watch a game. I don't know if that would be a fight, a game. Be like, like it'd be a, a game. It's a short one, but then they get to compete right. in the next season. I like that. Right. Good idea. The it's producers hopefully pitch That's the an idea. That's a holiday special. There you go. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Hi, what's your question? So, Sharon, Jinx. Trixie or Ivy? Who's the oddliest winner? Who's the, who has the what? Oddliest. The ugliest wiener? Oddliest. What is the, the ugliest drag? The ugliest. Oh, who's the ugliest winner? Oh. Like, odd. Hottest. 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 Who's odd? Like Evie Oddly. Oddest. Even I got that bitch. I thought you asked who had the ugliest wiener. Me too. And I was. No, they all have beautiful wieners, yes. Who's the Do hottest they? winner? Who's the weirdest, like the oddest? Yeah. Oddest the winner. Weirdest. I don't know. I mean, Evie's pretty weird. I mean, Sharon's probably at home like, it's over. It's all over. Halloween, she's going to be by the phone like, oh. <laughs> Hello, what's your question about wieners? Uh, not about wieners, but for Trixie. So when Shangela was here for All Stars 4 finale, I asked her who was Easy, the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I asked her who was in BB's titty, and she didn't give me an answer. None of us know, but I fully think it was me. I think it was me because I think, uh, well, I think Kennedy and Shangela choreographed the most in that challenge. I think it probably would have been rightfully me, but also BB was afraid of like teen girls burning her house down. <laughs> Wait, so y'all really did not find we out? We still don't know because... and BB This is, is so Blue's Clues. Girl, we we got to figure this out. So, unsolved mysteries, drag <laughs> mysteries. I need someone to call someone because I want to know. I want to know too. Well, you won, bitch, so who cares? I know, but it would have been this close to me then. That would have been cr changed the whole thing. No, it changed the whole thing when Ben de la Creme left. Right, so. yeah. <laughs>
Well, it was the same episode. It was the same episode. Oh, it was all in one? Yeah, I, although World of Wonder has footage of her choosing a lipstick. So, like, they know and they won't tell us. I'm going to ask. Y'all get ready. I'm on it. Don't worry. I am on it, Miss Thing. I'm going to do a 40-minute makeup uh, expose cancel video about <laughs> it. Yes. And I'm going to say things like, this week has been so many highs and so many lows. <laughs> All right, hello, what's your question? <laughs> All right, I so I expect a check from Rue if this happens, but what are your thoughts of, instead of putting you guys in a hotel and separating you guys, why don't we put cameras in We've a house? We've been saying that, honey, the oh. real world. We've been saying that, the drag world. Like, what are your thoughts? It would that? turn into the bad girls club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't want to spend more time with drag queens than you have to. You're there 12 hours together. Yeah. 12? Right? We were there 15, I felt like. Okay, it's not a competition. <laughs> but when it was, you know. Um, I don't know. All I got to say is All Stars 2 is where it was at and where it started. So <laughs> when these girls went on there, they were all like, we're already teamed up. We know we're going to vote off. We got there and we were like, Who's voting? Do you remember when the girls were like, we all get to stay? I said, no, baby, they're cheap. Do you cheap. remember when Hold you on. looked at the camera? You looked right at the camera. Which time? <laughs> when they were like, when they were like, you'll be eliminating each other. And you were like, <gasps> I said, I looked at the director like, hmm. hateful. <laughs> if, if they would have put us in a hotel, oh, girl. Maybe we would get more booze, though. Anyway. Yeah, Jasmine Masters brought bread, but I can't get a second cocktail. <laughs> I think they should do that. I, you know what? I'm ready for like a season of bloopers, just all bloop or something. Let's switch it up. Let's get it up. Blooped at the patch. Oh, oh, Blooped at the. They patch. should at least. They should at least show it like when you guys are like eating together all the times. They put you on hard ice, like kind of how they opened it up with Bless you. Untucked. Uh, and they show like the behind the scenes they should kind of do that a little more like they should show you interacting because it feels like we never see the fourth wall you know what I mean it would be nice to like see that whole thing you know yeah nope okay cool alright hello what's your question who would fuck on that show what who would fuck on that show Vanjie in Brooklyn okay great anyway alright um... who would fuck is that what he said I yeah. don't know who would have sex? We're talking is that about what he wieners? Said? I don't know. All right. I think Vanjie and Brooklyn. This is the part of the Q&A where yeah. it just really Who has the quality. ugly wiener? Yeah, what's happening? Yeah. Hello. Did anybody have any kind of romance on your season? Well, I will say after my season, there's a reason that there's no more male production assistants allowed at the hotel at night. Okay, that's my cue to go. Ah! But it wasn't me. That's an interesting pearl of knowledge. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hello, what's your question? Um, hi, uh, my question is, what is your favorite meme from season 11? Ooh, favorite meme. What do we have? <laughs> no. I, oop, right. <laughs> Shit, um, I don't know. A curious Maybe that one, the opulence, that's kind of yeah. fun. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to pass, I don't... Oh, great. You're so loud. You I love that. You have some good questions. Yeah. All right. Hi. Yep. Come to me. Yes. Hi. Trixie. Hello. Are you releasing your documentary on Hulu or Netflix? It's currently being purchased. We don't just, you know, oh, somebody will buy it and distribute it. Okay. That's all. So she doesn't know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Or I, the WOW uh, Report. Questions? Or the, yeah, or the WOW Report. You have another one? All right. Let's do it. My twin is up here. She has another question. Well, she's organized. She wrote her questions. I really over. like you guys. Like, this is a dream come true when I met Shangela here for the first time. So my question is, I'm a woman. I love dressing up. And all I want to do is to grow up and be a beautiful drag queen. I don't... <laughs> I don't want I don't want to be a drag queen. So my a drag king. So my question is, do you ever foresee in the future that I will be able to be on stage, you know, with you guys being able to have, you know, this mingling as a woman? I'm a woman. I mean, I'm I'm bi, but well, that's different. That's bi water, another bi water plug. Jesus Christ. Well, the future is now. We have, uh, yeah, we have people that are born, uh, you know, 
female yeah. on yeah, our topless stages bars now. down the street. Yes. Yeah. To quote the great Monique, I would like to see it. <laughs> okay. Not on Drag Race, but in the local scene, there is a lot of AFAB performers. Yes. Because we are a very forward thinking community. Yes, God. Thank All you. Right. All right. Anybody else want to talk about wieners? Nope. Hi, yes. It's almost like I didn't tell you 30 times to come to me. All right. Hello. What's your question? I know it's probably doubtful, but if they ever did like an old school senior uh, queens, like ja a la Jackie Beaton, uh, Lady Bunny, who would be your top three or four you'd want to see come back for something like that? For the older queens? Yeah. Ooh. <coughs> Coco Peru. Coco Peru. Coco Peru for me. Coco. That's all of them? Lip well. Sinka, I would. I did a gig with her. I, yeah, okay. I'm here for that. Um, <laughs> You're I don't really know. I selling it, gal. None of these drag queens who've built a whole career on their own backs w are, are going to do Drag Race. I mean, why would they go roll the dice with their 40-year legacy? It doesn't. Well, make we kind of got that. Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh. And, oh. and invite Tempest to Jor back. She's old as hell. <laughs> All right, hello. It's so intimidating to stand next to you. Hi. Um, my question is, what's your favorite untucked fight of all time? Oh, my God. Favorite untucked fight. Oh, my Shangela God. Shangela throwing that water on Mimi on first. That's lit. You could never be. That was so... Is it true that that was way longer and, like, borderline violent and that we didn't see all of it? I'll never tell. Right. I that's that All Stars one. Um, Raven, Mimi, I'm first was number three in fan voting. I could not believe really? it. It's so good. It's so good. But that's no, I like the All Stars. Goes, don't come for my fans, bitch. And Raven goes, from what I can see, you don't have that many. It is so. No, awful. Tatiana and Tatiana and what? What? Oh, the girl who won. Tyra. Tyra. Why Tyra. are you talking? Why are you talking? Tatiana and Tyra. That was so. That was funny to me. That was funny. Why are you talking? Why are you talking? Yeah, it was so good. Hello. Hi. Why do you think all the queens hated Scarlet this season? I don't know. I know, did but we, they hated did, her in the well, season. Did, did we ask all the queens that? Or are we assuming that? I mean, I'm assuming because when Rue was like, does everyone hate Scarlet? When it came out that Brooklyn said that, Rue was like, does everyone hate her? And they were all kind of like, yeah, kind of. She was wow. so, you know, cocky. I think when like, you're there, you almost hate yourself a little bit because you're like, what the fuck damn. am I doing? Uh, but I think they all said at the reunion. Though, you guys know hating mm -hmm. yourselves. You guys know. Yeah. Where are my people at? <laughs> <laughs> I love Scarlet. I loved... I loved him. I thought he was hilarious. Well, they were like, no. we didn't like how you were feeling yourself. I'm like, if you have a problem with the drag queen feeling herself, I don't know. Well, I loved him. Yeah. Anyone else have uh, any rich content to contribute? <laughs> uh, let's see. We have some. We have, uh, one... you, we have some questions from uh, YouTube. So uh, uh, everyone makes some noise. We, Here uh, we go. Give it up for YouTube has been watching the whole time. Yeah. This is our. This is our highest rated season ever. We have like doubled and tripled in views. Uh, thank you guys for coming here to talk shit um, and uh, doing that for us. Uh, hi, Reddit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Claire... Oh, okay. Claire from Australia asked both of you, <clears throat> if you could give a makeup line, a Netflix special, and a record deal to one season 11 queen, who would you give it to? Oh, my God. Doesn't it seem like Silky can sing? Yeah, right? Yeah, so, so she gets to sing. And then... Is she getting a makeup line, too? Oh, no. <laughs> well, what if you had to split them up? What if you had to split them up? Oh, spin off for Vanji, right? Yeah. Spin well, off. Plastique is getting the makeup line, hands down. Right. So that's that. Let's get that out the way. Yeah. Now, what's the next one? The Netflix show? Yeah. Um... I think Silky could be a good preacher in a Baptist, Southern Baptist church in full drag. I think I'd watch it, but I want Van... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, don't hurt, yeah. Don't. And I think we give, um... She's beautiful. Yeah. 
<laughs> we give it. Who would you give? Who would you give the the Netflix show we, to? Um, uh, Vanji. I mean, Vanji. Vanji, of course. Yeah. And then Nina gets a, a ninety four Accord. <laughs> it doesn't have to run, but just something. And then who would I, you give a record deal to? That one. God, I don't know. Some. Uh, probably. I mean, probably Silky, right? She could do a gospel record. Okay, no I would response. give the world to Vanji and just yeah. watch Vanji yeah. interact Honestly, with other people. Honestly, me too. They just threw her out on Hollywood Boulevard and She's she just marketable. talked to herself for two hours. That really is awful. Oh, but she did so good. Yeah. yeah. We've all been thrown out onto Hollywood Boulevard and they make you talk to strangers and it's awful. Yeah. Because so many people are just like, can I have a picture? Yeah. It's always a straight person like, are you dressed as Lady Gaga? Um, all right, do we have any more questions? All right, I have one more from the internet and then we're gonna close it up. <clears throat> this is from uh, Maris. It says, what is a current drag twin, tr nope. What is a current drag trend that you would like to see uh, go away? And what is a drag trend uh, you wish would come back in style? Makeup, I, hair, I, dance. I, I do feel like unless you're Naomi's body, can I just get a little titty? Like, just a uh, little titty. Like, no, I don't titties know. drives me crazy. Yeah, so I, I like when drag queens have titties on. Yeah. I don't think that bothers me. I think that um, I want to see more uh, performance value. Like, s performance. Like, it don't have to be dancing and flopping around on the ground in a split or some kind of some kind of death drop for real. Like, just to put, like, I liked Evie was performing. She was given performance art and, um, yeah. Yeah, and I don't like wet hair. No? Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. All right. Cracker oh. had a question, though. She had, Cracker, you had a question? You were raising your hand? Oh, you she's, were playing. She's, flooding, she's, she's swatting away detoxes flies. Yeah. She's just pulling focus. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, and this one, uh, I really like this one. Uh, this is from Jordana, and she says, I'm an overweight woman with hyperhidrosis, excessive sweating. Any tips for still feeling my fantasy and feeling beautiful while hopefully not sweating off my makeup at the same time? Botox will stop the sweating. Truly do. <laughs> all right. I don't know. All right. I believe that brings us to the end. Did you guys enjoy yourselves tonight? Give it up for Alyssa Edwards. Give it up for Trixie Mattel. And I'm your host, T-Rex, and I can't wait to take a long-ass hibernation until we are back in about six months. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you to Roscoe's for making this a fabulous two seasons. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, the Mean Greet is tomorrow. That is sold out. But performances are at 11:30 tomorrow. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we ask that you don't hoard the girl, uh, that you don't like bum rush the girls when they head off stage. No, they can't take pictures. But we appreciate you guys for coming. Thank you to everyone on YouTube. Uh, bye, Jai Ho on iTunes. Thank you guys for coming out. Cheers. DJ. Good night, everybody.